haven't filmed anything. I don't know why I don't just throw a camera on whenever I work on this, but I got a lot more done to the motorcycle. Uh, and I gotta do some more things, uh, so I'm just gonna go through the stuff that I've done already and what my plan is for today. R75-5 that I've been working on. I'm not really sure where I left off on the last stuff I recorded. Um, I did uh, refinish the wheels. Um, the Instead of replacing every single one of these, I just decided to sand it all down, wire wheel it. The inner hub is uh, done with heat treat, uh, high temp uh, paint, and then just did the spokes, but I kept the actual rim itself and the inner part of uh, the original aluminum, uh, I believe it's aluminum. And then I have the stock uh, chrome piece put back on it. I did both the front and back. Uh, for the electrical system, I rewired the whole entire motorcycle uh, to make sure the new turn signals work and uh, the way that I have like a safety lock uh, to make sure people can't just start it. I put in this power, so that's the main power. The cool thing is it comes out even if it's on or if it's off. So that's there and uh, got everything to work including the indicator letting you know when the turn signals are on. And I say that and it's not working. But yeah, I got to work. Uh, that's, I even got the horn put in. Um, high and low beam, everything's working there. And starter still works. So the brake lights work. I do not like this tail light. I'm trying to figure out a way to rebuild it. I have these and I'm planning on cutting down the fender and placing them underneath. So it's a little bit hidden compared. Uh, but before I do that, I wanna get the actual tires that I will be using just to make sure I have enough clearance for it that way. Um, what other stuff have I done? Uh, I don't know if I showed that I put these pipes on. These are actually um, stock Harley Fat Boy mufflers. Uh, I had to use the existing um, old mufflers to build a bracket to, ad to adapt to that, but it works really well and actually sounds really awesome. Uh, not too loud, not too uh, high pitch or anything like that, so it's pretty good there. Um, I built a bracket for the battery so it's not leaning against anything. I do have to build a part that holds, holds it together there so it doesn't shift, because it does lean forward a little bit, but it gives it a little bit more stronger place to be held. Uh, I added the front fender. The front fender, I was at an auction a couple years ago and bought a whole bunch of Harley fenders for some reason. Uh, I sold everything except for one, and this one was kind of rusted, um, but I kind of like it. So I just cut it down and mounted it to the stock point. Uh, when I do paint this whole bike, I am gonna paint the fender. I'm not just leaving it like that. But for, the, for now, the way it looks, I think it's kind of cool. It is running, it's running all right. I took it around the block. It's not horrible. Uh, the only issue is I feel like this side is running a, lot, a little bit hotter than the other end. And I know a little bit to dial these down, but I think what I'm gonna do is take it to an actual professional to tune the carburetors correctly. Um, I'm not really familiar with those and I don't wanna mess anything up, so I need to do that. Uh, but for today, I need to put in a new oil pan gasket because it's leaking some oil. So I gotta do that. Uh, and I built a motorcycle license plate bracket that comes off of here. Again, I don't wanna weld onto the existing frame. I want to make sure that you can rebuild it if you need to rebuild it back to stock. So I have a license plate bracket there that I can put on. And then I'm going to pull from the running lights when the headlights are on off of here, run it down so I can pass inspection having the lights there. Uh, the only thing that I noticed uh, for Pennsylvania um, motorcycle, uh, I guess, inspection is you need one red reflector in the rear. 
So when I build the bracket, I left a little space up top that I can put a piece of reflecting tape on it. Hopefully that counts, but I've been reading people saying they've never run uh, reflectors on their bikes and they always pass inspection. Uh, I'm trying to keep this as legal as possible. Um, I also have the lights that are made. Uh, let me just go get them. So these are the license plate lights. I got them off of Amazon. They're like five bucks, um, but they replace the bolt and then you don't need to have some big old light shining on your license plate. It's just these little things here. The hardest part is trying to figure out a way to send them through the holes and to be able to pull the plate off if need be without trying to cut wires and all that. So I'm gonna to try to figure out a way to connect those. Maybe use the ground of the plate uh, to for the one of the wires and then use the power and run a line that way. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, so I think I'm just gonna go at it with uh, changing the oil pan. Looking underneath this, it is in really good shape, um, other than the oil spots there. Like, it's, it's, there's no weird gunk buildup anywhere. Everything's shiny. Uh, it looks really good, so that's a good sign. Um, just gonna clean this up and uh, get some RTV and seal this oil pan. Hopefully, it doesn't leak again. Got the oil pan out, cleaned. Uh, the weird thing about this oil pan, and I don't know if you can see it on camera, you can kind of see those little, looks like metal flecks. And when I first took this off uh, for the initial oil change, when I first got it, um, I was rubbing my hands on here and it feels like pieces of metal, like, you know, something not good happened, but it's not. It's actually metal from the casting. Uh, so it freaked me out a little bit. I was like, oh no, there's metal shavings all inside this, but actually it turned out to be just a, a bad casting. Like, see, I can... Oil pan gaskets in. I have it uh, hand tight for now. Uh, drain plugs in. I'm gonna give it an hour for the uh, RTV to dry and then I'll uh, torque it to spec. I remember torquing it last time. It goes by inch pounds, so I got a uh, torque wrench for that. Um, so it just never feels like it's too tight, but it's what the spec says, so I'll do it that way. This is the bracket I built. Um, the welds are all right. They're not the best welds I've ever done, but I mean, it's not the cleanest bike I've ever built. Actually, no, it is the cleanest bike I ever built because this is the first bike I ever built. Anyways, so uh, this is pretty much how the license plate's going to mount to this. Um, I might make a little tab there just so this part doesn't flap around. Um, I threw one coat of paint on it. I'm After I drill some holes, I'm gonna uh, paint it again, but this bolt here, to bolt there, and then I have a little room to put a little reflector up top here. And then I'm going to take the lights, bring them through here, and go into the back here, and then use this channel with the plate covering it, and then come out here, come out here, and then keep the line to the swing, the swing arm. And then up around here where these wires are already at, and connected up there where I put the plug for the, the rear lights. So that's the plan for the, the lights. Um, 
So in, in Pennsylvania, I found this out taking the safety course, uh, it's technically legal to run a plate like that. And if you look, this is my moped light plate, so it doesn't matter. Um, it's illegal to run a plate like that. So for an extra $22, you can get the vertical plate number. So I ordered one of those. It's gonna take a couple weeks before it comes in. So I'll have a legal running plate there, uh, which is kind of cool. I mean, PA is cool enough to let you run them sideways as long as you just make sure you get the correct plate. And if you really wanted to, you can do vanity also running it sideways, which is kind of cool. But that's, 100, that's $108 and uh, I wasn't looking to spend $108 today just on a, a license plate. So that's the plan for this. Um, I like how I have it just bolted into these two points here. Uh, there shouldn't be any movement between that uh, and here. And uh, the plate will clear tires and anything in the way there. So I think that's a good place. Plus from behind, you'll be able to see it fine. So I think that's the plan. Uh, get some wiring in and just temporarily see how it works. I ran into an issue. Nothing with the motorcycle, with this Harbor Freight jack or lift. It uh, won't lift anymore. And it kind of sucks because it's at the highest level and I gotta somehow get this down. I'm just gonna screw around with it and see what I can do to get it down because I think I'm screwed. Awesome. It's down. Uh, I had to use the jack, lifted it up, added a whole bunch of uh, hydraulic fluid to it and luckily uh, it, it worked. I guess it was leaking a little bit of hydraulic fluid but it was just weird that all of a sudden it stopped working. Um, but I got it down, that's that's the positive. I'm not sure what it looks like on camera but uh, I just wired up a battery to it just to show you what it will look like from behind. 